Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing an all trades accepted with the Penguins and we're gonna be using a new roster. So I know people are very curious every time what roster I'm using. This is the one I will be using for today. I also didn't really realize, but NHL 23 is closer than I thought. For some reason, I thought it always came out in September, but it turns out the last two NHLs came out in October, which I kind of hope is the case because of the fact that I'm getting my wisdom teeth ripped out of my face in September. And obviously you want to do some day one videos or video, one of the two. But you know what I mean. Here's the Pittsburgh Penguins current roster before we start except I just realized I did it again. I did it again. Really? All right, we need to go back. Feels like there's only been one time that I set this up properly on the first go. Thankfully, this custom roster has a team. All right, it's Montana. I feel like, have we used this guy's roster before then? Musta. Well, I at least got to show you the offense. I didn't show the defense or the goaltenders, which might have been nice. I mean, goaltenders, you kind of know anyway. You got Jari and DeSmith. Defensively, they now have Petrie, which I actually did not know was a thing. There's been so many massive moves going on during this whole offseason that I've just lost track. I'm going to be real. Always inaccurate. There you have it. The draft lottery results that are not the actual draft lottery results. Let's sim and see what player we lose. Brock McGinn. Not the end of the world. All right, let's continue forward and let's try to find out how many trades we will get on behalf of the Pittsburgh Penguins. But first we enter the draft to find out what players will be taken as the first, maybe top four, because I just want to see who Montana gets. And then we'll try to sim to our pick. I'm not sure if Pittsburgh has a first this year, but we are definitely, okay, they don't. So we're not even going to bother, but there you go. There's the top four, a bunch of... 70 overall medium elites. I didn't add a contract year. I didn't add a contract year. Third time's the charm. This time we lost Ryan Paling. A much stronger draft class this time. The highest player was 75 last time, and this time the lowest is 79. There we go. That's more like it. You guys know the drill by now. Our surplus is everything. We are willing to trade anybody on the roster. But our wants are a little bit more specific because we just don't want to get completely fleeced and have an awful season, which is inevitable if you leave your block completely open. So without further ado, I was about to say delay, but that's not it. Without further ado, let's sim to the next season and see how many trades the Pittsburgh Penguins get. That took a long time, surprisingly, but we got a big one here. We're getting Forsberg and Thornton in exchange for DeSmith. And I, I don't know either of those guys, I'm going to be honest. I feel like I've, I've seen the first guy before. Beliveau and... P Pustinen, Pustinen, one of the two. Either way, we have to accept it. Ottawa, you have yourselves a deal. Are we only going to get one trade? That's a first. We only got one trade throughout the entire offseason. I'll leave our trading block a little bit more open, but if we start getting finessed, I swear on my life. Here is your temporary Pittsburgh Penguins lineup. We got Crosby with Raquel and Gensel, Carter, Malkin, Kapanen. Pretty decent bottom Six here, actually. Very solid. Defensively, we got Dumoulin with Latang, Petrie Smith, and then uh, Ruta with Pedersen. And in net, we have Jari and Forsberg. Let the games begin, quite literally. I'm genuinely shocked at the fact we're not getting trades right now. This seems very, very strange. I'll definitely try to propose some trades at the trade deadline, but this is a first, I feel like. Other than the actual very first accepting all trades I did. But that did not include the offseason. That was me just going straight from the beginning of the year. This is a different story. I haven't seen this before. I wanted to make sure this was not set to stars only because I normally do that for fantasy drafts and maybe I just did it by default, you know, turned into a robot. But no, it's set to on. So I have no idea how this is occurring. But it is. I have completely opened our wants. If we don't get any trades now, this will be baffling. We finally got a trade and look what it is. The Apex Predators were sitting there waiting. It's like they've learned. The AI have actually learned and they've basically decided, yo, if we just wait this guy out, he's going to update the trading block and then we'll pounce. Well, I'll accept it, but I'm not doing this anymore. I'm changing the trading block again. I've modified it just a little bit. So let's see if we get more trades still now or no. If we don't, then so be it. I guess this is just going to be a weird one. I think we also have a 70 overall player on our fourth line now, but we're still doing all right. So I'm not going to complain. Oh, here we go. Is that not the two players I just got? I know Magnuson was one of them. I don't know if Lindbergh was the other or not. But anyway, we're getting Jake Allen and Hoffman. So we will accept that and let's go 
see where they slot into our lineup. At 83 overall, Allen is scratched. So we still have Jari and Forsberg as our two netminders. We have Doomlin, Latang. I guess, yeah, our defense hasn't really changed, but we do have Joseph after that one trade got made from the Arizona Coyotes. And then our offense, Hoffman is on the second line. He'll be playing with Malkin and Raquel. So remember how I said that Forsberg was the backup and Allen was scratched? Yeah, about that. Penguins are dominating the division right now, and we just got another big trade. We're losing McGinn and Poulin for Pavelski and Suter. Except that. Joe is going to be our new second line right winger at 86 overall. In fact, actually, I'm going to do that. Let's get the plus five on that first line. What a thing of beauty. And then if we check out our defenseman, we got Suter here. They actually had him here, but I don't want that dash too. So I'm just going to move him down one line, which fixes it. See you later, Julian. We are 15 points up in our division. Okay, not anymore. We are 13 points up now, but it is trade deadline time in Pittsburgh. So I guess I'll make us a conservative buyer. Let's enter and see what is available at this year's trade deadline. We got Spurgeon, Jeff Pete. Okay, I don't recall giving you permission to do that. Actually, maybe I did that. Well, no, I specifically remember taking him off and putting Latang on. Unless that was, I don't know, I'm losing track now. I kind of like our team, so I don't really feel like forcing through any trades at the moment. So I'll just sit here until about 8 a.m. and we'll see if we get any. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to try to force any. We're doing very well. Just typical for the way this has been going so far. No trades and it's 7.30. So we are not getting much action. And it looks like a lot of the top players are already off the market or gone. This is the longest I've waited and we still have not received anything. It's almost 9 a.m. for crying out loud. There has been a lot of moves going on though by the looks of it. We got Bertuzzi headed to the Islanders. Boone Jenner headed to the Winnipeg Jets. We got some draft picks there headed to Minnesota and Brodeen headed to the Kraken. Jonathan Drouin is now a Vancouver Canuck. The Montreal Canadiens got a couple picks and Akil Thomas in exchange for Brandon Gallagher, Goligoski, and Kerfoot acquired by the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah well that was interesting. Let's go see if we can continue our complete shredding of the NHL. Or will the Pittsburgh Penguins fall victim to the infamous post-trade deadline collapse. So far, we seem to be holding up, so I have some high expectations here for this squadron. Are we gonna win the President's Trophy? There's a very legitimate shot, other than the fact that we just go and lose four, five, six games in a row. So yeah, we probably didn't win it now. What a joke. The Maple Leafs beat us out by one point. If we won one, one of those last six games, we would have been the President's Trophy winners. But no, of course not. Ottawa finished 11th and didn't make it. Carolina at 13 did not make it. And then we have the 19th place Blues and the 20th place Dallas Stars qualifying for the Stanley Cup playoffs. Sydney the Kidney got the most points with 78. Latang had the second most with 67. Gensel had 64. We got 62 out of Malkin. How did Pavelski play for us? He got 24 points in 29 games. So he did very solid as a Penguin. Jari played extremely solid. Actually, both goalies played extremely solid. A 921 and a 932, and then a 195 for Allen and a 225 for Jari. They had a combined total of four shutouts on the year. Bobrovsky led goalies in the league, however, with 41 Ws. He had four shutouts. I see seven down there for Freddy. We got six from Pavel, and we have a 916 save percentage from Sergei. 921 from Jari, who is right there in second place, and he has the best best save percentage here. So even though we didn't win the President's Trophy, I think this team is still going to take home some hardware. Hughes led all defensemen with 71 points with EK65 hot on his trail getting 70. Hot on his tail? What's the saying? I don't even know. Did I just have a Rickyism? Sometimes I do them on purpose. That one was not. Latang was at number three though with 67 points. So we got some players up there. You know what I mean? Goalie were number two. Defensemen were number three. Forwards, not so much. Matthews had 98 points and 50 56 goals on the year. We got 97 points from McDavid. That is poetic. It is, in fact, his number. 95 from Dreisaitl, 94 from Bradley, Nate Mack, and Panarin putting up 92. And the last of the 90s is Goudreau with 91. How will we fare against the Tampa Bay Lightning? We're down. Oh, that's not good. You know what? I'm going to say that we're going to win one of these next two games. Oh, we're not no? No, we're not. I was dead wrong. Well, that's a rather disappointing way to end an otherwise very good simulation. The Detroit Red Wings win the Stanley Cup. All right.
That is a team I did not expect. I'll be honest. For a second there, I thought it was a fantasy draft, and then I realized that no, it is not. But they did make some very good offseason moves, to be fair. So they improved their team, undoubtedly. We had seven points in five games for Malkin in the playoffs. Let's see how other players performed in the playoffs. Raquel had four, same with Pavelski and Crosby. And I just want to check out the entire league, honestly. Not too interested in our team as we only played five games and sort of stunk. But anyway, 30 points from Larkin. The next closest is Kadri with 25. So he dominated in the playoffs. Nate Mack had 23 Perron put up 23. We got 21 from Kale McCarr. We basically know all of the team awards, and I assumed that one based on the player points. I didn't really see who was actually in the finals, but there we have it. Matthews gets the Art Ross, as we saw. He also wins the heart. Latang gets the Norris. Fire me up. McKinnon with the Lady Bang. Raymond gets the Calder. Billy Huso gets the Con Smythe, and Jari gets the Vesna. The William M. Jennings also goes to Jari. Come on. McKay with the Masterton. Meech gets the Jack Adams. Pat Rice Bergeron gets the Selkie. Matthews with the Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. Yeah, we get it. You're sick. Here is the playoff tree. That's how it all went down. Detroit has really... Okay, never mind. No, it was a easy run for them until the conference finals. They went to seven against Tampa and seven in the Stanley Cup finals against the Colorado Avalanche. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. We had a very good season simulation. Unfortunately, the playoffs did not go so hot, but it looks like Tampa Bay had a very good team, obviously. So it was a tough matchup for the first round, but yeah. If you want to be the best, you got to beat the best, and we couldn't get it done. Be sure to keep leaving comments for all trades accepted teams, even if it's like a custom team. I saw a comment recently, and I am most certainly going to be performing that one, which isn't a specific NHL team. I'll just leave it generic at that. I will see you guys soon.